Hello, Acron fans, and welcome to this FP vodcast between myself and Ch and Cron Avarant. I'm Shadow Three 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 Three, and we're on Mantania transfer. So I'm going to start out my normal race, Vekir, and get my standard six RP start going. So this Mantania transfer is a bit updated from the last time I showed it off. It's the Cold Forge style once again, as many of my maps have been updated to be. Thanks to Cron Avarant, who I'm facing, he's the one who pioneered the style, and it's a good style. It seems to help create games that are not complete rush fest, but also have well, not a, as big of an expansion focus either. So it's a nice balance between the two, so you're not worried about one person just getting all the expansions and winning from that, and, and then you have to worry about harassing everything, although still being tweaked with it. Anyway, so now it's changed, of course. We have three LC and two QP crates in the main base, and then over in this side expansion we have two QP and two LC crates. Up the top, we have 3LC, 3QP, and in the middle, there's 2LC and one large QP crate for both sides, north and south. And of course, the north, the south, well, the east side is very similar in the distribution. Really, the resource boxes are the only things that have changed. The actual map design is pretty much identical. There were no major changes to the map design. And to get more RPs up, get another. Going fast forward because that'll actually help me a lot better. So I can get my build up faster. Don't have to worry about spending current energy on that later on when it falls into the past and I need to do corrections, which I will inevitably need to do, but I might as well have as much as I can set up beforehand. And actually, since this is a fairly large map, I'll build a 10th RP on LC before switching to QP and then working on vehicles. Just gonna need to get vehicles not as quickly as I would on a map that's smaller than this one because it's not as rush oriented obviously and my scouts aren't even halfway to crown average base so yeah i really have no no worries about being rushed right now just build a couple more prps and then spend my money on a foundation to get myself a depot because of course i need depots to make vehicles that's the only way Grecum, or the only way Vecchio does it Grecum does not do it Grecum does not build vehicles Grecum just sort of breeds more vehicle like versions of themselves Oh, apparently I'm being attacked by Octodos about... Oh, here we are. The Octodos are meeting up my scouting forces, and they're winning! Three Octodos from... Okay! So, disregard everything I said about not having to worry about rushes previously, I do, in fact, have to worry quite a lot about rushes. Build me another Zion Veer. Ah, oh, shoot. Okay, well, I do need that key VRP, but I didn't really want to spend the LC on that right now. No, 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 no. You stay here. I don't want you doing whatever I told you to do last time around. That's the Teth Spear, that's not really fine. I Actually, no, that is probably fine. In a map like this, I could use a comp hub. Oh, right, I can't build foundations when I'm building infantry. You two, you get ready for an Octo attack. Where, I think. Where are his Octos? I remember I saw them over here. Huh, maybe he's not actually going for an Octo. I'm suspecting he may not be going for an Octo rush. Just a slight suspicious a suspicion, a bit of a sneaking suspicion. But still a small suspicion, I'm... Yeah, I think he may have just been trying to frighten me. Now that I think about it, he, it may not have been an actual rush. Okay, you guys get back. You get back, get back. I need you to build more RPs. Oh, right, you guys are slow as molasses. I'm not fast-forwarding. That's why everything's going so slow. And you become a depot. Actually, you become a depot... You become a depot a little bit ago. There we go. You become a depot at the 339 mark rather than 10 seconds from now. Hotkeys and. Zero, one, two. Okay. So where is. No, you're two, you're three. So we got my comm hub set up. We'll know if Octos are coming, which I. I'm doubting they are. I really doubt they are. Come on, get me my resources for sign. Oh wait, that's gonna be just enough for design treasure, yes. Next come on, one more cycle of QP oh, come on, hurry up. There we go. Now I get design torture. 455 four forty five in, but it's design torture. It's worth it. I can use get you there. Build some RP no, you build RPs here, here. And build design pulsar support. And you build a foundation here. Need to get everything built up. Oh my, this is actually 
You go to the center of the map. And you get teleporting, and get me another. You get teleporting as well, and I need another Shin Viewer because I'm going to need more foundations built around the map. Get the Zion Viewer over here, and like I said, I'm kind of concerned. I don't know what Crown Aberrant's up to right now. Oh, wait, no, I do. There he is, attacking my expansion. There's the Octo. So he was using the Octos to try to undermine my expansion. A clever idea. So I shall have to simply expand over to the south. Not have to worry about that expansion. Oh, except in the capacity that he go and kills Octos. That seems like a good idea. Still, it's 150 LC I may not want to have spent. Oh, keep a bookmark on that. If I don't want to have spent it, I'll... Actually, when did I spend it? I spent it now. Okay, put the bookmark before I will have gone to spend it, because I may not actually want to spend that money. But I'm not going to change that yet. I will, however, see what Crown Emerald's up to, because... No, I can't really, can I? All I know is he's building stuff. I can hear he's building stuff, but I can't see it. And all I can do is sit here and lament the fact that I can't see this. You know, I should probably build an aerial control center. That would give me scouting units. My, like my much beloved Shin Pulsers, which I actually haven't built a lot of in recent games. Okay, and now I'm getting attacked directly. Well, this was expected. Don't get teleportation. Just kill these things. You'll live long enough, don't worry. Actually, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Sign Tristers are a great defense against Octos, except for the fact that they take forever to build, but... Or take forever to get, relative to... The Octos, the Octos, of course, are base class units, fairly simple to get. They're fairly cheap, while Zion Tristers, on the other hand, are not base class units. They are, well, not... Well, you know, they're tier 2 vehicles. You can get them right off the bat, as soon as you get a depot, but you cannot get them... and... you can't get them for cheap. That's the best way of putting it. They are not cheap. They are quite expensive units, and... there we are. Aerial Control Center, need to save up some LC, and need to build foundation down there. Oh, crap, now I'm getting concerned. What the...? Okay, my test of is getting attacked, my... Oh, my Zion Torture is just getting built. This is an odd... I don't know why... Okay, you can see why Crown Ever did this. I see he's going for my Q Plasma RPs, and my Q Plasma RPs are important, but frankly not that important. I'm actually kind of Q Plasma saturated at the time in the future. Well, anyway, you go... Actually, you go build more here. But I'm going to undo your undos. You actually build that foundation. I want that built there. And then you can build a foundation down here. Actually, for that matter, you get auto defense. And you build me foundation up here, I guess. And when that gets auto defense, I will build a foundation. Or build a bastion there. Actually, I'll build a... No, I won't build an annex. I don't have enough resources. I don't have enough LC. I do, however, have teleporting units. Two teleporting... Or two teleporting Zion Pulsers and a teleporting Zion Turcher. Which will wreak vengeance upon Gron Aberrant for having dared to assault me. Despite the fact that that is the point of the game. And he's just built an RP here. And building more. Okay, so there is... He is trying to expand down to the north base, and I don't think he suspects my expansion to the south base, but I honestly am not sure. Now this expansion has been built, and the foundation has been built in a terrible position, so I shall reposition that into a much better position. Right inside the mountain. Because I'm fairly certain I can build the bastion such that I'd be able to see this. It's still not a great position, but it will work. Probably build another one over here just so I can protect the CRPs. You go over here. You go over here. Def. Okay, there we go. And you go over here and now you're still deaf. Okay, anyway, not gonna worry about that for now. Apparently I do need to get hearing protection for my units. They are apparently going deaf in the field of battle. Probably won't wear it though, probably think it's just gonna get themselves killed, but well, it's important that they can hear me so they know what I'm telling them to do. Like, you know, move into a convenient location for you to actually harvest resources, because that's your job. 
Sometimes I just wonder. Inanimate objects, am I right? Oh, hey, there's a bastion. Yeah, I'm starting to get a bit low on LC. Actually, wait, oh, no, no, don't, 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 I need to build, I need to build my, my Shin Pulsar. Need my scout. Yeah, now that works too. Actually, you go over here. I realize I'm kind of QB blocked, but... Nah, forget it. Oh, there we go. Yeah, you go here. You harvest from that, and now Karnheimer's gonna probably try to kill me. Actually, I should go back to when I just finished defeating that, and now attack him. I'm using the past! Look, Mom, I can time travel! In case, you're wonder in case you are new here, I don't tend to use the past very much. I'm quite bad at that part, actually. I know, it's kind of funny. I, Mr. Time Travel RTS commentator has a really bad time using the time travel aspect of a time travel RTS, but... Yeah, I definitely think needing practice. Kill the Spire! That's my best bet. I can't seem to get through the bubble wrap to actually kill those units down there. Oh, hey, I got some units and pressures in case stuff really goes south. You patrol around here. I spec Karn Amarant did something. Oh no, that's something I already saw. Okay, that's something new. This, however, no, it's also not new. In fact, I seem to be only dealing damage to myself because my... Ah, get out of there, get out of there! Okay, my Zion Beer was in a bad spot. And now there's an Octopod. Okay, Octopod at the top. But the power is going down. Or slowly, but surely. Ah, it's taking damn long. You go over here. Start tearing down the reefs. I'm gonna build more vehicles right now. And why are you not patrolling? You just go over there for now. I'll send you some patrollers later on. Two on four. Patrol here, patrol here, and patrol... I don't know what else to patrol. Screw it. Build more stuff. Actually, that's position two. Get me Corona Porting. Or Gate Tech, rather. And some foundations to build that with. Oh wait, why is this not... Wow, this hasn't been developed this whole time. I have a Zion Veer right here. You developed this. I didn't even realize that was undeveloped. Actually, I have a northwest base too that's undeveloped. That just just become an annex. That's all I really need. Oh, I think it's. Oh, I <laughs> I just messed up my gate tag again. Oh, I'm sad now. Oh wait, here we go. And you put more parts in your patrol route. Shinchers are going towards the north base. This guy going off. No, I don't want to get tech. Shoot, I messed that up. Okay, well, you guys just march down. And you teleport towards the expansion, which I... Don't know when is being developed. Ah, it's being developed now. Okay, that... Might work. You don't exist now. There we go, that's better. You might exist now. You do exist now. Okay. And I've just lost my entire army. Crap, should have been paying attention to that. All right, teleport away. Harassment, largely successful. Oh no, no, that's not good. That's not good at all. I can probably deal with it, but that's still not good since I messed up my own acquisition of gate tech. This may be the end of me. Or, should say, may have been the end of me. Actually, I think that's why. I lo yeah, that seems to be. No, that's doing badly for me. In fact, I don't even think I destroyed that. No, I don't destroy the fire pod. Good thing I built a Shin Turcher. <laughs> Good news is I built a Shin Turcher. The bad news is I sent it away. You go back to the main base. I'm gonna get hit hard. And you don't exist anymore. There we go. Now you don't exist. You ceased to exist a long time ago. Oh, and you're here. Okay. Annex in the northwest. Oh, that's a lot to manage. This is more like it. Except you! I told you already! Yo, do stuff! 
Sheesh. I don't know why you're not doing stuff. And I need you to get gate tech here. Where where are you? Ah, still not enough LC. Okay, I, once I get enough LC, you need to get gate tech. Actually, why are there no problems? Crown armor should be hitting me. I, I should... I should have a pharopod in my backyard, right? Uh, I should have a pharopod in my backyard three minutes ago. <sighs> Always late for appointments. Bloody crack him. Never rely on them for anything. Don't know what to do with him sometimes. He said he was gonna completely ruin my base and make my life into complete misery. But no, he's late. Well, whatever, I suppose he's gonna live with that. Oh, speaking of death. Oh, Faros. Well, that's nothing huge. Doesn't mean I lose my scout, which is a bit of a pain. Sheesh, Faros are strong. Wow, actually, you guys... You guys go over here, protect that Shin Pulsar. You can take care of the Faros, no problem. That was a bizarre turn of events. But, I'll turn it back to my advantage. Hey, Octopod! Well, it's only one of them. I can deal with that. I can also deal with these Faros using Zion Pulsars. Because apparently I... Put him around the wrong side. Where is that far up? Oh, there's the far up. Okay, I knew those gonna be right here somewhere. Yeah, and there's the Shin Torture. You, you over here. Hey, you. Yeah, you. I'm talking to you. I'm focusing on you. I don't know why. That's a waste of time. Just wanted to look at it. Oh, and here's the far up. Faros that will die. Those Faros don't have to worry about. But it does. Still slightly problematic. Do I have gate tech? Yes, I am upgrading gate tech. Good. Am I upgrading gate tech now? No, I'm not upgrading gate tech now. Damn it. All right, that goes. That's that's bad. <sighs> gate tech's really hard to get. It's really, really, really hard to get. Especially when your opponent keeps harassing you all the time. Okay, you just attack. I don't know how successful that will be, but you just attack. I have to deal with these octopods somehow else. Send a Shin Turcher in there to deal with them. I I don't have time to deal with it myself. Nor do I have the ability. Zyme, but the lowly commander. I can tell you guys what to do. Works for me. I don't have to get myself killed. At least I don't think. They might mutiny. I don't think they can come through my computer screen to kill me, but I don't want to bet on it. Somehow I think that might work out poorly for me. Still, this far not cloaked, and if it... Oh, come on! Ah! Almost killed that far apart. Well, this far apart at least can't do as much damage. And my Zion, my Zion Pulsars are actually doing a job, although that job is kind of being distracted at the moment. Still, they're destroying reefs, which is handy. So at least Crown Avern has a bit of pressure on himself, but he does have gate tech, which is a large difference between us. Still have a lot of QP I can turn into LC, and I can get to the At least help me defend, for now. Oh yeah, I probably should be building more... Uh, I should be more building more bastions around. Like this one, right here. There we go. That's one. Oh, hey! What the? I have gate tech now? Awesome! Although I, I don't know if I can rely on it. I I really don't. But it looks like, yes, I do in fact have a... I do have gate tech. Alright, let's get a slip gate up. Let's get going. I can actually do stuff now. Awesome. I don't know what happened. I think because the Faros died. But I really don't know. Oh, crap. That shouldn't be you're still dead. But this can become a Bastion, and that's good. One second of resources. Now I have resources. You become a Bastion! Kill that thing. And nice. Okay, so I have... Zion Pulsars here. You go back to base. What the? Or, or apparently you just... Don't exist. Oh, I see. The hierarchy leader is not there. Got killed sometime in that whole fight. That whole scuffle. Oh, wait. These guys are still here. Why are you still here? 
You go over here. And you t you go over here-ish, I guess. And that's game! Okay, Crown has surrendered. Phew, sorry about that. Not quite as much commentary going on there, but... Jeez, that was kind of intense. Okay, so... What did we learn today? Gate tech isn't quite as powerful as I thought it was. Good to know. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that, and have a good night, everybody.